Our daughter has decided she wants to be a griffin for Halloween. I don't even know what that is, but she has told me that she needs a red cape with a hood. And my mom had planned years ago to make her a little red riding hood cape and had bought this fleece fabric for that. And it was still in the house, so I think I can make this into something. And I'm pressed for time, so we're gonna see how quickly I can do it. Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple and Healthy Mama. I'm Kate. My mom purchased these red leggings for our daughter. And then I've got, I don't know how many yards of red fabric. What does it look like? It's about five foot four inches of red fabric that I'm gonna try and make into a hooded cape for her so she can be a griffin, which she tells me is some sort of like an eagle, a red eagle, a magical red eagle. I do not do elaborate Halloween costumes. And I pulled up a 10 minute tutorial online. We're gonna see if I can make her costume in 10 minutes. You might think I procrastinated by not starting our daughter's costume more than two days ahead of Halloween, but I knew that I had this red fabric and I knew that I had the internet, which always has great ideas for really simple things. So I Googled up the easiest no-sew cape that I could find, and I'm gonna now try and make it in 10 minutes or less. All right, let's do this. It says 10 minute make, easy no so hooded cloak. We will see. Measure your child from shoulder to wherever you would like the cape to end and add two inches. Okay, my dining table is actually 38 inches and it says to do the length you want plus two inches. That's about right. So I'm just gonna cut it about the size of my dining table. I don't think this is a very precise <laughs> craft. Fold down two inches from the top, and then it wants me to cut half an inch or thereabouts every two inches across the top of the fabric. Okay. Fold this down about two inches. So we're gonna go like this and just cut a little bit. I screwed up, I cut the wrong side. Right? Right. Pickles. I needed to cut that side. Did I do it wrong? Okay, just kidding, I don't think I did it wrong. It just looked really short this way. I think we're okay, I think we're okay. All right, moving on. Now we're gonna sew the hood. Cut a rectangle, 22 by 26 inches. So I don't know if you watched my Halloween video from last year, uh, but we take our kids candy, all of it, after Halloween night. So every Halloween, this is a family tradition. This happened, I grew up in this house and there's something about this house. The Great Pumpkin comes to it every year. My parents always told me this lovely lie that that's why the Great Pumpkin doesn't have very many teeth as he eats all of your Halloween candy on Halloween night. And we have continued the tradition. I'm sure they're starting to figure it out but they go along with it. So the great pumpkin comes while they're sleeping and takes all of their candy. I usually just get rid of it I, in normal years. Any year other than 2020, I would send it to work with my husband. Fold the rectangle in half along the short side. So what does that mean? That the, like a hot dog or like a hamburger? Along the short side, I think that means meet this to this. I think I'm going to cut more off here. I don't want to make it too small and run out of fabric, but this just looks like a huge hood. I'm gonna give up now. Perfectionist in me comes out and then has to go back in her little closet. Okay, and then it wants you to sew along one side. So I think this is the no sew tape stuff she was talking about. I'm gonna do that. Gosh, my kids are so loud. I asked them to be quiet, but that just doesn't happen. And I'm gonna press along the side here. This is a sight you will not often see. I don't iron. Nothing happened. Like, nothing happened. Okay, I'm gonna risk melting my fabric and turn it up more. I'm just gonna keep going. 10 minutes. I'm 25 minutes in, by the way, but that's because I have to go deal with my kids and then my husband walks in and 
and I don't know what I'm doing. So we really are keeping things pretty simple this year. The neighbors were texting and we decided that we would just do a costume parade at 5.30 up and down the block once. I think a few neighbors want to hand out candy, which I actually think is pretty safe. We just need to avoid the hordes of kids going up to each door all at once. So I'm hoping people come up with some creative ways to pass out candy. Finally. Ah, that'll be cute. Cut from the back of the hood half an inch, one inch in. Then go ahead and cut every two inches as you did before. Cut a length of fabric or you can use ribbon. Huzzah! So now they've got me assembling this by finding the middle. It was not very clear on what to do here, so... I'm gonna come up through the middle-ish on the cape piece. So I'm at the back of the middle. Then I'm gonna come up through the middle of the hood. And then we're just gonna weave like we're sewing the two pieces together. So one of the great things about kids is that when they're little at least, they are thrilled by just about everything. And so I can mess this up pretty badly or it can be pretty subpar by most people's standards and our daughter will be just fine with it. So what's everyone else doing for Halloween? Tell me in the comments what you and your family have decided to be safe but still have fun. All right, so just like on the other side, I'm gonna keep weaving through at the end and then cinch it up. That will tie around her and you can just sort of fluff this up, I assume, to your desired width. That is pretty cool, guys. And then this is the hood. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I think this is gonna be great. Oh, my little griffin. I'm trying it on. Okay, the hood is big, but I suppose you go, oh, look at that. <gasps> She's gonna love it. All right, I think we're set for Halloween. She has a red shirt that she already owned. She has the leggings from my mom. So she is now a griffin. And I think I have face paint. I can make a little beak on her face if we need to. So we're set. Happy Halloween, guys. Until next time, you've got this, mamas.